so uh, so I was telling somebody so I was telling shut up bird so I was telling somebody that uh, my files are not ASCII they have binary graphics and uh, somebody published this article about a histogram um, so uh, the first thing you do when you make an operating system is you define what you want to use as your ASCII set. Um, the Commodore 64 did not use uh, ASCII. Um, they, they had uh, lower and upper cases reversed and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so um, my source code is uh, graphics. Look at Vroom. This is the source. This is the source code. It has gra graphics in it. Shut up, bird. It has th 3D mesh meshes. These are, some people think these are uh, Flash, but no. This is a 3D mesh editor. Control R when you're on top of it, then you go to the mesh, and then uh, edit, edit mesh. So here it is, and uh, we can edit it. It's a pain. This editor is. Uh, I need to do a little more work to make the editor better. Um, I can. You want me to add a? Uh, how about I put a red spot on the car? Okay, uh, that's pretty hard. Uh, I know what I'll do. So I'll do color, red, triangle. I'm going to go from here to here uh, to here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not very good. Oh, well. I'm doing the wrong. Oh, well, I, I marked it up. I accidentally mixed top and bottom. Okay, we don't want this. Anyway, so uh, so let's dump the file vroom.cpp.z. Now it's stored compressed. If it ends in Z, it's stored compressed. Um, if it ends in Z, it's stored compressed. Um, you can only use compression if you access whole files. If you do a partial file, you can't use compression. So Temple OS is for whole files. You always do the whole file. Um, this has binary graphics, the, the, the triangles with the vertices. And, uh, and then it has ASCII up here. It, it's 8-bit ASCII. You can see I have a theta. Oh, somewhere in here I saw a theta. There's a theta. I saw a theta. Right there. There's a theta right there. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, if you have, uh, there's other uh, rawhide. Let's look at that. So we have some uh, some some binary graphics. Let's dump rawhide. Rawhide. So there's the uh, the horses at the bottom. It's not very much. Um, so as it turns out, uh, in the early days I did not have a text uh, editor for the graphics. Um, I, you can edit the bitmap, but if you wanted to edit it as text, it did not have a... Uh, so you can... I'm drawing 
Control Alt Z, Control Z. So I'm, I'm drawing on the bitmap. So anyway, Control Alt Shift Z. Okay, abort sprite. Okay, now let's go to a Sprite Edit menu, Edit as Text. So this gives you a, a, a text, but this is not how it's stored. Um, we did not even have the Edit as Text option. Um, it, it started as binary. Um, so, uh, uh, so if you want to see what what the the 3D mesh looks like when it's text, this was this is a. a Oops. Let's go to Edit Sprite Menu, Edit as Text. So this is the 3D mesh. I did not even have this option uh, until recently, or a couple years ago, a year ago. So uh, um, you can use uh, you can use eight eight bit. Um, so there's thetas in here. Let's see if we can see it find a theta. You can control Alt A, and then you can use these characters. Control Alt A. There's a theta. Control F. Let's look for the theta. There's a gate theta. Gate theta. Gate theta. Gate theta. 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 Okay. So, uh, um, uh, it's, it's not ASCII. So, because the binary graphics are at the bottom, you can't uh, append text to a file. Just imagine what would happen if you tried to append text to this file with the graphics at the bottom. So you have to load and save whole files. Um, you can work with the file in memory and do a log, append if it's in memory, and then write it when you're all done. Um, but you, you cannot do append. As a matter of fact, I, I turned that into a, a requirement when I made the Red Sea file system. The Red Sea file system only does, it doesn't grow files. Um, you can't append to a file with the Red Sea. So you can't make a log, like logging lines. You can't do that. Um, so what is it? Trust me, it, it works for what it's designed for. Basically, these 20 games are what it's designed for. And uh, it works really well. Here's here's a uh, here's a first-person shooter that has uh, graphics in source. Here's a uh, a flight simulator, an eight-core flight simulator. So it it works for what it's designed for. Um, 